Hey, Jeff Big Daddy Wayne here, my YouTube video, Big Daddy Knows. And today I'm going to address a subject that I am well versed in and can share my knowledge with you, the viewing public. It's how to be poor. Now, I know a lot of you are going, oh, this doesn't have nothing to it. Anybody can be poor. You know, just uh, gamble your money away, throw your money away, give your money away. And that's what I'm not talking about. I'm talking about you how you can be poor and why you're poor. And if you listen to my wisdom, you won't be happier, you won't be richer, but you will have a truer understanding of how pointless your life is and how hopeless it is. And that's important because once you have an education, educational idea of your, your um, horrid situation, it makes your life worse. So here's the deal. You have a job, you make money. You have to pay for a rent or mortgage. You have to pay for your car, your car insurance. You have to pay for food. If you have children, you have to pay for them. If you have a wife, she always wants things. If you have a husband, he has some stupid hobby you have to indulge. And suddenly you find out that all this money, if you're at a mid-level job or a lesser position, your money is always gone. There's never no money. The money is forever gone. Oh, you got to have life insurance. Oh, you got to have health insurance. Oh, you got to have this. You got to have that. And then you start experience real life. When you find out they're raising the rent, they're raising the mortgage, your washing machine went out, your dryer went out, the refrigerator went out, the car went out. All these things are timed by God. I believe in God because only God could create it where something just keeps going out, causing you trouble, causing you, where do I have to come up with that extra cash from? You can only borrow from relatives so much. And if you're like me and have poor relatives, they borrow from you. Another drain on your expenses. Then when you finally think you have a few more dollars, one of your teeth, you have problems with the tooth where the dentist laughs in your face like mine. I wanted to get something done on one of my tooth and one is having a little discoloration and I asked him about it. What can I do to get this tooth white? And he started laughing. Ha ha ha, you have a dying tooth. That's a dying tooth. Why was he laughing about that? There was nothing funny about that. And then he went and fixed the other tooth and I was too embarrassed to ask him, what do I do about the dying tooth? I don't like walking around with something dying in me. No, there's no escaping it. It's like going on vacation. Have you ever noticed you go on vacation, you spend more money than you intended, and when you get back from your vacation, which is supposedly where you're going to rest, you don't rest at all. You're exhausted from the vacation. No, it's just one joke after another. One cosmic flip of the card after the other, letting you know it's over, it's finished, there's no real hope. Your children buy me, get me, I want. Your pets constantly getting sick or injured. They're a burden. Uh, it's just horrible. And yet we go on, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Yet there's something so courageous in the human spirit. It just keeps thinking that it's going to get better when the evidence <laughs> shows otherwise. I hope you can share this video with your friends that have dreams of becoming rich. They spend their money at the lottery, which that's not going to the lottery is rigged, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever noticed that when people watch them? Did you ever notice when people win the lottery, they say they're not going to quit their job? Only a fool, only a fool would act like that. They, they, they deliberately find people that are stupid enough to win millions of dollars and keep, keep working like a fool. Because if I win that lottery, everything stops today. I walk out. I leave the car exactly wherever it is. I leave the house at every position in it, wherever it is. The pet is being abandoned. I walk away from every relative. I walk into the sunlight as a new man, crammed with money, ready to enjoy life and not caring anymore about anything or anybody but myself. Pure selfishness personified to get just a little happiness on this planet. The tooth will die. I don't care anymore. My teeth can fall out. I won't shower. It doesn't matter. I'm rich. People will be nice to me. I can stink, sweat. It doesn't matter. I have money. People will come to me. See, that's how this whole thing works. And that's why I'm here to help educate you on this, which has taken me years and years to realize. 
It came in a fever dream the other night. But I had to share it with you. Comment. I want your comments. Subscribe and share. Big Daddy knows.